Good. Good evening and welcome to the January 30th, 2024 public budget hearing. Can I have roll call, please? Councilman Masseri? Absent. Councilwoman Miga? Absent. Councilman Zazali? Here. Deputy Mayor Scavage? Here. Mayor Peterson? Here. Adequate notice of this meeting was duly provided to the Verona Cedar Grove Times and the Star Ledger by email and published in an annual schedule of meetings on December 14th, 2023, filed with the Township Clerk and posted on the public bulletin board in the Municipal Building Lobby in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act. Um, does anyone from the public wish to be heard on anything on or off this agenda? Seeing none, we will start with item number three and move on to the budget hearing. And uh, Mr. Zakelli, do you want to start with recreation? Yes. Good evening, Mayor. Before evening. before we start, I, I will run through the list of uh, who will uh, be here tonight. Recreation, which is celebration of public events in the pool utility. And then we'll go to the library. At 530, we'll begin with engineering, shade trees, streets and roads, equipment repair and maintenance, snow removal parks and playgrounds, and then I will go into the municipal insurance, lighting account, and statutory expenses. 545, we will do our water and sewer utility. At 6 o'clock, we'll have the public utilities, vehicle maintenance, low sap, uh, unemployment insurance, fire department, and OEM. And at 615, we will end with the police department and capital improvements. Uh, we will begin with recreation. Marisa, if you want to join us up here. Good evening. Everyone knows Marisa. Of course. Um, we're going to start with the celebration of a public event. Um, it's the 290 account, uh, beginning with fireworks every year. As it's been said many, many, many times, we do add $1,000 to make it a little bit bigger and better. Uh, last year, we paid for this amount in full, um, which we think contributed to a little bit better show. Right. Yes. They uh, throw in more shells if you pay in advance. Pay. So we are going to do that again. Uh, brought that up from... 15,000 in 2023 to 16,000 in 2024. The state permit of $427 stayed the same. The 299 account here went from 15,427 in 2023 to 16,427 in 2024. 380 account, holiday tree lighting. Um, there's a few different accounts throughout the budget for this. You see $3,000 line item here that stayed the same as it was last year, but there are other items in different departments uh, that contribute different elements to the tree lighting that stayed the same from last year. Um, the 299.74 account, this is for um, the Memorial Day uh, event this year. Uh, I was speaking with Marisa and uh, what we would like to do this year is in lieu of a parade, have a uh, some type of ceremonial event slash barbecue at um, the community park for the veterans where they actually get honored and recognized, a barbecue for uh, the town that will be catered. Um, and this just kind of concentrates on the true meaning of the holiday and, and you know, allows us to try something different. Also, it's the opening of the town pool that weekend. So it's nice to kind of tie it all into community <coughs> park there. So you'll see here, that's a $3,000 line that will go towards the Memorial Day celebration. Breast Cancer Awareness Walk, that's our 10th year we're coming up, right? We're doing that. It's our 10 year anniversary here. Um, you'll see that there's a $3,000 line that stayed the same. You'll see a reduction uh, in the princess party. Um, if this goes on this year, it will be a accounts receivable, which means there will be a fee associated with it, um, and it will not be coming out of the operating budget of recreation, which is why you'll see an $8,000 decrease in the 299.28 account. Overall, that account went from 11000 in 2023 to 3000 in 2024. Any questions on our celebration of public events? No? Okay. We're going to move on to our recreation budget now. Uh, at things... In the past, were classified as salaries and wages, and they should have been classified as other expenses. Um, we're starting to see this now um, with Rebecca downstairs uh, and HFA looking through the, the budget as well as our auditor. Um, so just because you see a zero here doesn't mean it's eliminated. It means it's probably been repurposed and classified elsewhere. Um, the 101.15 accounts, uh, playground, summer help, supervisors, leaders, and aides, that went from $44,400 in 2023 to $47,000 in 2024. There's a minimum wage increase um, that a is, it's, it's a dollar increase per hour per uh, staffer. So it's a cost that's passed on to us, uh, no different than any other business in the state. That's why you see an increase here. Um, do you have a question, Mayor? I, I do. Yes. How did you? <laughs> 
Um, does that mean that we're, we'll increase the fees then for summer playground to to Likely. make up for? Yeah, likely. You're okay. going to see that with the the pools. With a also. lot of things. Yeah, that's um, what I was thinking. So, yeah, and and again, that's just a, a cost that we have to mm -hmm. pay. Um, you'll see in the 101.16 basketball account. Um, last year that was fifteen thousand two hundred dollars, and this year it reflects a zero, not because we eliminated, it, but this was previously classified as uh, employees of the township when it really uh, is another expense. So that I'll point that out when we get down to that line that that moved. Same with the 101.17 for field supervisors, suburban girls league volleyball, ice skating, um, bocce. That all got moved to other expenses. So that's why in salaries you're, you're going to see a decrease from. 149.58 last year to 141.538 this year, and now we'll get into the other expenses. Um, 220 account travel costs stay the same at $100. Conference and dues stay the same at $650. Maintenance of other equipment, 261 account, $4,200 that stayed the same. Um, maintenance of buildings and improvements, 16,750 that um, got cut to $16,342. Uh, different contracts were. In place and we found some cost savings there in this uh, 299 otherwise not classified this is where you'll see those costs that I said were uh, formerly moved um, which is why you're gonna see a, a increase here um, taking that from the top the Halloween parties in there I think, right some of them here and some of them are in three okay a uh, summer in 382 uh -huh. okay so Halloween party 650 that got cut to 600 uh, suburban girls basketball 3,000 Boys basketball, 3000 Those were two items that were previously in salaries that we've now moved to other expenses. Um, miscellaneous tournaments, that uh, $1,000 that stayed the same. West Essex Soccer League, there's a $100 increase there. Suburban Wrestling, $1,200 that stayed the same. By and large, a lot of these accounts stayed the same here. Uh, here's another line for the holiday tree lighting, 3500 So part of that's in celebration of public events. Part of that's in the recreation budget. I think Jerry has some of that in his budget too. So that's where we kind of divide the uh, the holiday lighting. Uh, overall, the 299 account for $45,900 in 2023, $45,100 in 2024. There's a slight decrease there. Clothing account um, that dropped from $590 to $460. There's a little cost savings there. Office equipment, $1,000 that stayed the same. The 380 account. Um, this is where you see that big increase that I was discussing before. The last two line items here, hardcore hoops uh, supervisors and miscellaneous supervisors, that's a nearly $20,000 increase because this was previously in the salaries that we've now moved to um, the other accounts. And this line went from $23,200 in 2023 to $43,000 in 2024. Again, that seems like it's a big increase, but we saved the cost from the salaries. Um, Community Park Turf Maintenance, 2000 um, Marisa found a, a new contract that's a little bit cheaper, which is why you see a $1,700 cost savings there. I didn't say it before, but I will repeat what I said yesterday. A lot of these numbers uh, are cap buffers for me, which would allow us, if we come close to a cap <coughs> calculation problem, I can go back and dial some of it back and trim it a little bit. Um, so none of these are, are permanently set in stone. 450 account, copy machine maintenance, $1,000. That stayed the same. 480. Um, Different supplies, tennis courts, community pass, which is what we use to uh, regist for registration and everything, right? Mm -hmm. um, that there's an increase in that from 3,800 to 4,200. Um, supplies stayed the same at 3,200, and our optimum bill uh, there's a slight decrease there. Overall, for recreation, um, you're going to see in 2023 we spent 254,748 dollars, and in 2024 mm -hmm. that number goes to 265,090. So there's a very slight increase here, but again, a lot of that is due to expenses that we don't have in our control and uh, just different types of contracts going up. Do you have any questions on the rec budget? No? Okay. We're going to do a little jumping here so if I can do it. We're going to jump to the pool utility. Okay, so you, here you see um, the pool administration side. The big thing here, aside from the salaries, is our audit, um, which had an increase from $3,340 in 23 to $4,200 in 24, bringing the grand total of the pool administration side 
um, for salaries and wages to $127,662.23 to $132,891.2024. Um, again, here, the pool, much like the recreation programs, you are seeing an increase in uh, hourly uh, rates by $1 per hour. Pool manager, there's an increase there from 6800 to 9000 um, We're currently still looking for a pool manager. I believe it's still posted on the league website. Assistant pool manager, there's two of them. That went from 11000 to 11500 um, Swim team coach, 2000 stayed the same. Uh, pool staff, $117,136 in 2023, $120,000 in 2024. Um, and over time, went from 16000 to a slight decrease there to um, 12000 In the 220 account, which is um, travel, swim team buses, 3,300, that stayed the same. <coughs> Wi-Fi connection, cable vision, 1,250, that stayed the same. Gas and electric, 12,000, stayed the same. Water purchase, um, there's an increase here, and as I'll explain when Mike does his budget, there's a 6% increase in the cost of water from Passaic Valley Water Commission as well as North Jersey District Water Supply, um, which is why you see a $500 increase here. Membership badges went up $100 from... 2400 in 2023 to 2500 in 2024. 262 account, uh, 3000 that stayed the same. 290 account um, stayed the same, 4400 that's for testing the water and uh, starting up in the summer and winterizing in the winter. Otherwise not classified, 3000 that stayed the same as well. Chemicals for pool, this is where we're seeing very large increases in the town, not just for the pool, but for some of Mike's treatment as well. 33,023 to 35,024. But I think we just found them on a co-op, right? Yes. On Morris exactly. County Co-op, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. 2,000 for lifeguards, um, suits and jackets, 350 count, $100 that stayed the same. Uh, painting the, the pool bathhouse, 4,000 that stayed the same. Um, 380 account, $300 that got cut to 250. 382 safety material, um, this uh, lifeguard training, 1700 that stayed the same. Fire extinguisher service, uh, that got cut because that's covered by our other contract, which is the same. And safety material, 200 You'll see this budget went from 2400 in 2023 to 1900 in 2024. Cleaning supplies stayed the same at $2,300. Um, plants and shrubbery, we are seeking to enhance the landscaping of the pool, much the same we are town hall. We just installed some extra river rock that we had at town hall down at the pool. Um, this is to continue doing that $1,200 that stays there. First aid supplies, $500 that stays that. Uh, same amount as last year. Hardware, 350 that's the 390 account. That stays the same as last year. Uh, again, otherwise not classified. This is uh, what I was discussing yesterday with a lot of the insurance. Um, you'll see here, biggest increase here, in other insurance, which is the general liability insurance of the township, went from $12,626 to $17,280. Um, this is an increase that's spread across the board. I'll explain that later today. Uh, that was a very large, unsuspected increase that um, unfortunately all towns around the, the state are seeing. Overall, the 460 account, $1,850. That stayed the same uh, in 2024. It's for garbage, cans, chlorine tests, garden hoses, miscellaneous supplies, furniture and furnishings, lawn furniture, $1,300. That stayed the same as did umbrellas for a total in the 470 account of $2,600. Overall, the pool um, you know, maintenance side went from $306,883 in 2023 to $317,539 in 2024. As the council is aware, uh, previously we did um, approve a capital ordinance for $40,000 to pay for the new pumps at the swimming pool. That's what you'll see reflected here, capital improvement funds through the temporary budget. Uh, we did front all 40000 instead of the 26.5%, so the way the pumps can be done uh, before the, the pool opens. Uh, we're currently working on that now. One thing that I do want to point out um, is our bonding and our debt for the pool. Um, the pool, hopefully, is, is starting to... Uh, I don't know if I put them in here, actually. Do you have the debt service? No, I don't think I put it in here. 
So anyway, the, the debt service on the pool for this year is um, we're really coming close to breaking even, which is good. As I Emmy mean, Carey would know more than anyone, the pools ran a deficit for a number of years. Last year, two years ago, the anticipated deficit was 202000 Last year, it was approximately $83,000. we are hoping this year it's, it's breaking even, which is inclusive of our debt payments on the pool. We cast serial bonds in 2012 that are finally coming due. And, um, you know, with the less principal, there's less interest, which is making the utility a little bit stronger. Um, I know this year we talked about expanding the pool hours uh, by one hour to expand, you know, closing time, um, something that the rec board is looking at now as well as a rate increase to compensate for the um, extra hour and the additional costs and service that the pool will see. Anything on the pool you want to discuss with Marisa? Or? No, I understand that, that we were getting almost to cutting even, right, with the debt service, but hopefully we'll get there. But then I don't know if we, are there any anticipated big? The pumps were. The pumps were, that was, okay. Yeah. So that's, all right, we're not, not doing too bad with that. So as soon as the debt service is paid off, which will be in the next couple of years, then it'll be self-sustaining it, it we may be we may be sustaining sooner um, depending on what the bond market looks like and the interest rate some of those may be callable and we could look for a more favorable interest rate like we did with the town debt in July um, we I really don't want to cast too much debt at the pool because it's you know it's a it's a weaker utility mm -hmm. um, and it's its revenues are not generated year-round it's a seasonal revenue um, but I prepared a memo that the council has seen, that the rec board has seen, recommending a, a rate increase across the board, which will obviously compensate for the extra hour of time and the extra hour of or dollar per hour per staff member um, that we're paying these these employees. Right. Okay. Good. Um, do you anticipate with the, if the extra hour does in fact get passed that there will be an increase in membership? Because I know some folks were complaining about the closing, I guess, at seven instead yes. of eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think you know. I think there will be an increase in membership, and I hope that, you know, obviously we want as many people to join the pool as possible. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a nice uh, service that many towns are getting rid of their town pools. Really? Uh, yeah. Um, some towns have two. I know last year Fairfield closed theirs, and we are, you know, one of the few towns that are still kind of supporting a pool and ha have a pool that, that supports, you know, the needs of the residents. So I hope by adding the extra hour, and, and I do hope that the residents see that there is an extra cost with that too, right? right? I mean, it's not... You know, you're adding an extra hours worth of time, which is extra tax on the utility itself, mm -hmm. on the maintenance of the uh, equipment. It's longer use for the equipment, less downtime. So there's a lot of moving parts associated with it. But I do hope that that spurs a little bit of interest. Yes. All right. Yep. Great. Thanks, Marisa. You're Thank good. You. Thank you, Marisa. Thank you. Have Catherine. Good night. You too. What's up, Catherine? Nothing much. How are you doing? Good. Good. Do you miss the budget book? No. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> not at all. This is much better. All right. Everyone knows Catherine from our library. Yep. Hi, Catherine. Howdy. We're going to jump right you? into Good. it. Um, so this year, um, Catherine's made some adjustments, mostly with part-time staff. Um, that's where I'm going to start, the 101.11 account. Okay. Um, you'll see part-time staff in 2023 was $116,719. That's been reduced to $97,465.17. Um, the 230 account, which is internet access, 5300 that stayed the same. 231, 38, heat, power, light, 198, that stayed the same also. Water and sewer, 1200, again, that stayed the same. There's not any changes there. Slight increase in the 230 account, which is postage from 200 to 250. 240 printing and binding stationary forms, $175 last year. That was cut to $100. Uh, across a lot of departments, um, especially with the stationary forms, if there's a way we can kind of cut that out, having to order all of that and either make it on Adobe or just reduce paper entirely, it's kind of where we're, we're moving towards, which is why you see a lot of the departments decreasing that amount. Conference and dues. Um, that went from 625 in 2023 to 265 in 2024. There's a decrease there. Maintenance of other equipment. Uh, there's an increase here, and we'll we'll go through these uh, line by line. 
Heating and cooling contract that went from 1,000 to 1,500. Uh, cooling and heating repairs 1,000 to 3,000. Electrical repairs 1,000 to 2,500. Um, fire extinguisher service 850 that got cut to 126. Yeah. Plumbing repairs 1,000 went up to 1,500. Uh, miscellaneous maintenance repairs 3,000 that went to 1,000. Copier scanner repair 5,000 that got cut to 3,500. SMS security uh, 1,000 that went to 11,000. Again, that's part of the um, security, security cameras. cameras that the library is putting in. Mm -hmm. um, you know which. Everyone should have cameras now. Mm -hmm. uh, door contract uh, repairs, which, ironically enough, the door is on its way out, right? It is, yeah. Um, that went from 1500 to 3000 which is why here you see a increase from 15350 mm -hmm. in 2023 to 27126 in 2024. 370 account, janitorial service, 40000 that got cut to 26000 uh, Window cleaning contract, 3500 went down to 2000 Floor care twice yearly, 3000 to 2000 Pest control 2,500 to 500, and duct cleaning 0 to 7,500. Overall, you see in the 270 account a decrease from 49,000 to 38,000. I'm sorry, yeah. can I just ask a question just because of the, the floor cleaning? What's the status? Um, Catherine, I know the last mm -hmm. I had heard from Councilman Masseri, you were going to submit a plan for what was going to happen with the employees. Yes. And I haven't, I've had the same board members at each meeting that I've kind of brought it up. I'm trying to catch as many as possible for input before I send it over. But okay. Because, yeah. yeah, the floor, I thought we were going to do the floor after the November election. election. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So are we, so. Oh, yeah, it's still, it's still on. Okay. I just have to nail down a little tighter when the start date will be because I have to worry about when the, um, when the booths will get picked up. But the, the contractors want to come in as soon as they're gone. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Thanks. Okay. Any other questions? We're, we're good. Oh, okay. Thank you. 290 account professional service. There's a um, large increase here. You see uh, PALS Plus went from 24000 to 34000 That's the consortium that the library is a part of. Uh, computer repair and replacement, 300 That went to 4000 And um, the library has retained the services of an attorney, uh, which there was no line for last year. That went to 9500 Overall, the 290 account went from 243 to 475 for 2024. 330 account. Um, there's there's a, a lot of uh, adjustments here. Um, children's books went from five thousand to fifteen hundred. Juvenile media six thousand to thirty five hundred. Periodicals seven thousand to thirty five hundred. Juvenile fiction. There's a lot of just subcategories. I'm not going to read them all. Um, overall, the three thirty account went from eighty eight thousand ninety dollars in twenty twenty three to fifty eight thousand two hundred and fifty two dollars in twenty twenty four. Um, again, there's just a, a lot of juggling with these costs and whatnot in here. 350 account, office supplies. Um, here you see an increase. Uh, children's service supplies 4,000 to 5,000. Programming um, from 5,500 5, to $13,788.83. Uh, technical service 2,500 to 5,000. Overall, this account sees an increase from $12,000 in 2023 to 23,789 in 2024. Um, cleaning supplies, light bulbs, $500 in 2023 to $2,500 in 2024. Again, this is another big increase here. Group medical for the library, $119,779 in 2023 to $135,336 in 2024. Again, this is just the library portion of the group medical. Um, this is an increase we see across the board. Um, other insurance, which is our general liability, 21745 and 23 to 29760 in 2024. Here's our here's the statutory expenses also that you'll see the pension contributions, $69,769 and 23 to $72,092 and 24. Social Security, 39412 and 23 to 39618 and 24. Um, surety bond, $100 that fee stays the same. And then our annual audit went from one thousand one hundred thirteen dollars and twenty three to fourteen hundred in twenty four. Overall, you will see that um, the twenty twenty four budget comes to nine hundred forty four thousand nine hundred three dollars. Uh, last year, the twenty twenty three budget was nine hundred forty nine thousand one hundred three dollars. This is slightly more than the mill that the state requires, only because of the insurance increases that is seen in the otherwise not classified accounts that we just went through. Any questions on the library? Nope. 
That's no? good. Any questions for us? <coughs> no. No? No, good. No, well, I'll take it. You're dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Theoretically. Take me a sec. You're good. No rush. Thanks, I gotta get to, oh, no problem. Thank, thank you. you. I gotta get to the next one. Anyway. No rush. Chair, you want to just come up? I'll go yeah. through engineering real quick, and then we'll jump right into you. Uh, yeah. Everyone knows Jerry. Yeah. Jerry. Of course. This Hi, year, Jerry. this year, last year, Jerry sat as a supervisor of roads and uh, what was the other? Parks. Parks. This year, Jerry sits as our director of DPW. So we're very That's happy awesome. to to have Jerry sitting here in that capacity. I'm going to knock through the engineering budget real quick. Uh, engineering staff uh, overtime. Six thousand two hundred eighty-eight dollars. I kept that the same. Two forty street maps, uh, zoning maps. Two twenty-five. I cut that to a hundred dollars this year. Um, no one's really looking for street maps. Two fifty account conference and dues. Um, we no longer have a full-time municipal engineer on staff here. Um, as the council is aware, our engineers do a, cons a consulting um, contract, and we don't have to pay the engineering dues because we don't have a full-time engineer. So in 2023, this line for the 250 account was $1,075. This year, it's $375. So it's a nice savings for us there. Um, in terms of uh, some, some maintenance on the uh, DPW building itself, this was a $2,336 line in 2023. We have since reduced that to $336 in 2024. Carpet cleaning, $500. That was reduced to $275. Um, Different types of rain gear and, and safety clothes. 425, I kept that line the same. 350 account, uh, office supplies 1270, that got cut to 1095. Cleaning supplies 500, that stayed the same. Desk furniture, last year there was $500 for that, that's zero now. Uh, they got the furniture last year. Overall, engineering budget went from $13,119 in 2023 to $9,394 in 2024. One thousand, I'm sorry, $13,119 in 2023 to $9,395 in 2024. Nice little decrease there. Now we're gonna talk Jerry's world. Our shade tree account, which is uh, 290.0155. Um, here again, part of this again is the cap buffer. I built up a little bit in the event I need to dial it back a little, however, Jerry will tell you we spend a lot of money on trees in town, whether it's replanting, pruning, um, you know, having the arborists look at them. Uh, in 2023, we put $40,500 in this line. In 2024, that number is now $45,500. Um, that is the whole budget. Again, 2023 is $40,500. 2024, $45,500. $5,000 increase that we could always dial back. Streets and roads. Um, one, one increase you see here is in our part-time summer help that went from 7200 to 7680 Again, that's a dollar increase on the minimum wage. Uh, truly, we should look at eventually increasing this beyond because the work really is beyond minimum wage, uh, what minimum wage would pay. So slowly we could start building that up a little bit. Again, that was 7223 to 7680 and 24 Overtime kept the same at $8,000. 250 account, league, convention, and dues. That was $50 in 2023. That number is now $0. SMS security, $0. That's going to come out of the budget next year. $299 storm um, drain repair. Now, in catch basin cleaning, the DEP, as part of the new MS4 ordinance that the council's aware of us adopting, a lot of these have to be cleaned and recorded that they were cleaned regularly, uh, which is a very taxing task for our DPW. Nonetheless, this account stayed the same 5300 last year, 5300 this year. Uniform rental, 320 account, $4,026, stayed the exact same, $4,026. 330 books publication, CDL license renewal. Um, this is for people who want to go get um, the CDL course. We do pay for the, the uh, schooling and the, the, the test itself one time. If you have to take the test more than once, you have to pay yourself. Um, and you have to have your CDL. CDL licensing renewal, 580, that got cut to 380. We had three new guys get the CDL this year, Chair? How many, four? Uh, 
Three. Three. Yeah. So we had three employees get their CDL this year, which is huge help for us, Class A CDL. Um, we also give stipends to employees who do have it, which is why you'll see a slight increase from 4000 to 4200 Overall, this budget decreased from $4,655 in 2023 to $4,580 in 2024. Supplies of the 350 account, 200 that stay the same. All right, here's, here's the real deal. Let's talk 370 account. We use a ton of hot mix. Um, that price yeah. went up. That's for filling the potholes. And yeah, it's pretty much, it's over 100 a ton, yeah. you know, because the, the price of the fuels would change is the price of the gas flow. And so, yeah, it's, it's, it's expensive. Maybe 125 this year. So that's, ton. that's a lot. Um, and you'll see an increase. Last year we put 3,000 in that line. This year it's 10,000. Again, barring the increase, this is a little bit of a cap buffer for me. I could always dial that back a hair. Um, concrete mix, $700 that stayed the same. Roadstone, uh, that went from 800 to 500. Road paint, $1,500. Everyone remembers, at least I knew as a kid, I hated seeing the curbs getting painted because I knew I've been going back to school. That's what pays for the paint on those curbs and crosswalks. Um, catch basin repair, 2,500. That's to build the... Um, I, I guess the, the basin itself, right? Yes. Yeah, to um, rebuild them, yeah. Basin castings, 2,000. Street post and sign. Um, this here is a, another buffer account. There's 12,000 in this that I could always dial back. Um, fittings, $1,500. And clean sweep program, $500. That's where we get the brooms and shovels and bags out of. Overall, this account sees an increase from 24,792 and 23 to 31,492 and 24. Again, I could dial some of that back. Another big increase to the 382 account. Uh, OSHA requires, our for a long time, our first aid kits were out of compliance. Some of the band-aids, I think, were original to the building from 1950. <laughs> Falling <laughs> um, apart. Which is not good. <laughs> so you see a increase here from $50 to $1,000. Uh, there's a company that comes and services the first aid kit monthly, and that's what this contract is now. All right, miscellaneous hand tools, hardware, 2,500 stayed the same. Propane refills, 300, that increased to 400. Small equipment repair, 800, stayed the same. Grand total, streets and roads budget, 378, 576, and 23, to 401, 427, and 24. Again, I could dial some of that back with our cap once I get the calculation. Pete couldn't make it tonight, so Jerry and I are going to sit in and do Pete's together. Um, fleet maintenance courses, $0 on there. There's really no change. Um, 261 account maintenance of other equipment, 3,850 last year, 3,850 this year, no change there. 262 overhead door repairs, 600. Um, we have four doors at DPW that increased to 3,000 this year. Uh, maintenance of, of other items, 475 that also increased to 3,000 for a $6,000 line. Again, part of this is to combat increases and also the cap calculation. Um, we are upgrading this year our new fuel based. Um, system which allows like fobs to actually pump the gas so we could see real consumption and whatnot um, we currently board of ed gets their fuel from us so as does the fire department police department dpw um, so that way we can keep better track of it it's a cloud-based management service um, that account because of a new contract went down to 2200 from 2885 computer support for ev stations we have three of them that's 120 dollars to 600 dollars this year the 290 account went from 3380, I'm sorry, $3,880 in 23 to $4,125 in 24. Welding increased the cylinder uh, 175 last year, 225 this year. Gear stayed the same, $550. CDL stipend, this went from 300 to 1,000 because under this budget now we do have two CDL employees. Vehicle equipment and paint, 250, that went up to 1,000. 384 janitorial supplies 250 went to 400 390 miscellaneous tools and hardware 600 that went to 800 smoke detector alarms zero went to 250 um, we get inspected from our insurance and these are some of the recommendations that they we should have been making a long time ago but now unfortunately we have to do this year other expenses for equipment repair went from ten thousand nine hundred and thirty dollars to eighteen thousand two hundred dollars Overall, the equipment repair budget, very, very modest increase of less than $1,000. 2023 is $115,281. 
in 2024 is $116,200. A lot of this was because I changed um, some of the salaries into the utilities. And like I said yesterday, I may be readjusting some of that even further. Any questions on equipment repair? No? All right, Jerry, snow removal. This is Jerry's other baby. Overtime kept that the same at ninety thousand. Private contractors, um, seventy five thousand. Uh, Jerry, real quick, let's just explain our new plowing method this year. What we used to do and what we're doing this year. So normally, okay, the uh, the contractors would plow the south end separately from the DPW. <coughs> so this year we decided to combine the DPW with the uh, contractors, and uh, this just works out so much better. I don't have to worry about these guys leaving their area. They're with our guys, and our guys are covering all three sections of town, which makes me feel better. And then that breaks me away. I could help the police with the, whether they need salt or they need plowing. I could help our guys out. It just it takes a lot off of my plate, and I'm able to run around and you know check everything and make sure everything's you know going smooth. And so it definitely works out better. It's way more effective this way. Yeah, that's great. You know, for years I've heard like South End wasn't as good as the rest yeah. of the town. I mean. Lots yeah. and lots of that right. kind of feedback, which you felt badly about. Yeah. So I think evenly distributing that uh, yeah. resource and you yeah. know put it, layering them in with our people absolutely is and is really smart. Yeah, that's that's the way great. That, yeah, yeah, we should have makes done it a lot years of sense. Ago. Yeah, I mean to run around and try and find these guys. Well, I mean I got a million things going <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, it's crazy. There's a storm. There's yeah. like at least if something breaks too, right? If the contractor's truck breaks, we have a DPW truck with a radio in it behind that we can right. exactly. radio yeah. in for help. They can radio the garage so the garage knows what to yeah. expect. Yeah. Um, the communication is way better. I think. Way better, yeah, absolutely. Um, and great. I think we're getting better results from it too. Yeah. Good. Glad to hear. That's yeah. great. Jerry doesn't sleep during snowstorms. I no. saw that first time. <laughs> no. I was out there. No sleep. <laughs> uh, so 90000 salaries, 75000 part-time help. Meal reimbursements, $850. Um, plow parts and accessories, 4500 last year, 5500 this year. Um, same type of account in the 361. That's 6000 went to 7000 uh, Rock salt. We went through a lot of salt that last storm. Um, yeah. We just ordered, what, another 275 tons? Yeah. Right. Uh, this is $110,000. As we said last year, you know, we had no snow last year, so it would have been very easy to cut this amount this year to – you know, kind of give a, a fictitious sense of where the budget's at, but it's not prudent because we may need it. We may need more salt. We went through a lot of salt with the last two storms. Um, so, you know, as you can see, the price of salt, 65 dollars a ton, that keeps going up and that changes. Um, overall, the snow plow budget last year, two eighty six three fifty, went to two eighty eight three fifty this year, a very modest $2,000 increase. We do a lot with that. <coughs> Parks and playgrounds. There's another little, little snafu with this one here. I'll, I'll explain it. Uh, overtime got cut from 10000 8000 um, CDL stipends increased from 1000 to 2000 uh, Again, one of the new CDL drivers who's currently enrolled in the course and also received one is paid out of this account. Um, in the 261 account, you can see SMS security systems. There's a $505 line last year. Now it's zero. That was for the security at the Grove Avenue garages by um, Eagles Field, formerly Blasey Field. We don't have the garages anymore, and we don't have the security. Um, organic herbicides, that's something that we, we place a premium on, $450. Um, that stayed the same as last year. That's in the event that we need to treat a certain area in town. Uh, 361 lawnmower miscellaneous repairs, $3,500. Stayed the same as last year. All right, let's talk about the 370 account. Clay for ball field, 1100 stayed the same. $500 for parks and benches. Safety of wood chips, 4500 Quarry process, 1000 Now, all that stayed the same from last year, but why is there a massive increase? Unfortunately, it was brought to my attention that the, the maintenance contract for Panther Park was paid out of capital. Um, you can't do that. So we are now putting it back into operating in this account here. So the maintenance contract will be paid out of the proper account, which is why you see a $17,000 increase in this budget from $7,600 in 2023 to $24,600 in 2024. Uh, this is unfortunately not one of the cap buffers that I would like to build in, but is you know a real expense that we need to uh, incur. 385, grass seed, fertilizer, um, bee exterminators. We've gotten a lot of bee calls 
right in the parks and yeah, whatnot this year this past summer especially a lot of a lot of beehives mm -hmm. um, so you'll see an increase in this account from 5900 to 6400 um, 390 account miscellaneous 400 that went to 700 that's miscellaneous hand tools uh, holiday decorations uh, this is for the tree lighting which may I say I think was you know probably one of the best tree lightings we've had this year both out front of town hall and at uh, community park six thousand four hundred seventy five dollars that's the price that we were quoted uh, to do it next year and generously Smitty's who did the lighting at town hall donated the tree lighting yeah. at community park so we want to you know plug that very nice uh, generous donation that they they gave to the township grand total for um, parks and playgrounds this uh, went from 244 741 in 23 to 265 uh, 259 and 24 and you can almost target that increase just to the maintenance contract in, in Panther Park alone. Mm -hmm. Any questions for Jerry on this before we, uh, Jerry, DPW, mm -hmm. they do a great job. They do really a great know. job. We're so oh, lucky to have you, you guys. Awesome. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Really the best. Thank you. Yep. I Jerry, agree. you're good to go, buddy. Okay. Thank Thanks, you so man. much. Yep. Thanks, thank Jerry. you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just going to go through the insurance numbers real quick. This is really what I wanted to talk to uh, council about. All right, group medical benefits. Um, I literally went through each employee's health insurance classification, family, uh, parent, child, member, spouse, single, um, for all 110 employees, um, and calculated the insurance number out. So in 2023, the state health benefits plan cost the township Three million two hundred eighty thousand six hundred and twenty-seven dollars. This year, we're expecting a cost of three million five hundred and ninety thousand four dollars. Um, it's a three hundred and ten thousand dollar increase. Some of this gets charged to the utilities, uh, but most of it hits current, which the state allows you to exempt a portion of. But again, that's why we built in cap buffers. Medicare B reimbursement that's for retired employees seventy-seven thousand one seventy-four and twenty-three to eighty thousand five hundred and twenty-four. Long and short-term disability, not much of an increase there. Fifteen thousand five hundred twenty-four dollars and twenty-three to sixteen seven sixty-six in twenty-four. Dental, not much of an increase here. Sixty-five thousand eight sixty-nine to seventy-one thousand one thirty-nine. Same thing for the disability benefits in the dental plan. I went through each plan uh, specifically. This is the breakdown of the expenses. Some of the departments you've seen already, some you haven't. This is where we charge back the uh, insurance to the different departments or utilities. Workers' compensation, 275, 570, 285, a very modest increase. Um, but coming up, you'll see the real uh, pain in my heart was our GIF insurance went from $350,725 to $480,000 in 2024. Um, that's a big increase. A lot of towns are seeing that. A lot of that's on vehicle insurance. Um, anytime a claim goes in on a vehicle, um, the insurance goes through the roof because, you know, vehicles are, are hard to come by, their parts are hard to come by, and the claims really, uh, I think our, I think liability insurance on vehicles is up 14% this year. So this is an expense, too, that I'm hoping they allow us to take outside the cap and um, hoping that it won't affect our, our cap calculation too much, even though I do anticipate it being uh, a little bit of a, of a uh, challenge. Rec programs twenty three seventy five that was bumped up to twenty eight fifty. It's insurance for that. Here you can see the distribution of the GIF as, um, assets to the different utilities, the different chargebacks, and to the current fund. Last year you can see we charged one hundred and fifty two thousand nine hundred sixteen dollars. This year to current fund we're charging two hundred and nine thousand two eighty. That's your cap number there. That's what the difference is the the increase in the cap that we we need to try to to work around with the cap buffers. Uh, let me I think I have my lighting account. Yep, lighting. Uh, electrical lighting for street lights, 168,000 and 23, 174,000 and 24. We do pay PSE and G for the lighting on the street lights. And this includes $6,000 for the holiday lighting that goes up and down over 23. Overall, this budget went from 173 and 23 to 180 and 24. Contingency account, 10,000. Um, this is a catch roll that went to 11,000 this year. Statutory expenses, public em employee retirement system, that's PERS, 634, 268, and 23 to 655, 390 in 2024. Police and fire uh, pension, really just police pension here. Um, 
one one million six hundred nine thousand five hundred and ten dollars and twenty three to one million six hundred ninety one thousand nine hundred fifty nine dollars and twenty four. Social Security four thirty eight seven forty eight twenty three, um, and we kept that the same for for right now because there have been some other increases that we've offset in the utilities to compensate for that. And here you can see the same chargebacks. I'm not going to go through them all, but this is where the chargebacks in the other departments go. We'll get that at the end. All right, we're going to bring up Mike Rosso to the water utility. What's up, Mikey? Hey, Mike. Hello. How's Mike's another guy who just <coughs> wears many hats here. What's the thing you just took? The uh, course? The stormwater inspectors. Yeah, Mike MS4. became a MS4 stormwater inspector for the township, which will save us a lot of time and money as well. Awesome. All right. Water administration. Uh, this has a lot of uh, miscellaneous salaries in it. A lot of this stayed the same. Overtime went from seventy seven thousand nine hundred and ninety three dollars to eight thousand. Postage, uh, water postcards, uh, three thousand eight hundred sixty dollars to four thousand seventy dollars. Two forty printing and binding water bills, one thousand one hundred and ten dollars in uh, twenty twenty three. Stayed the same in twenty four. Conference and dues, CLEs, one seventy to two fifty. Slight increase there. Um, here you're going to see maintenance of other equipment. Um, this is our computer contract this year. went from $7,300 last year to $1,200 this year. Um, you will also see in here, as I discussed yesterday, in the 290 account, admin software, uh, the $12,000, that's one-third the cost. A third is in general and a third is in sewer. Um, this will be for water and sewer billing um, as well as tax and, and pilot and finance operations. Payroll services went from 9300 to 10000 uh, Suburban consulting engineer. This uh, um, used to be a salary in the water administration side. We've taken it out of salaries and put it into professional services because we no longer have a full-time engineer. This is now done through a consulting contract, $78,745 there. It's split between water and sewer. HFA consulting contract, $10,000 in water. Um, the breakout there was twenty-five thousand in current, ten thousand in water, fifteen in sewer, because the sewer is a slightly stronger utility to sustain that. Thirty-five hundred account miscellaneous supplies, eighteen hundred stayed the same. Annual audit, six thousand seven hundred forty-three dollars and twenty-three, eight thousand four hundred eighty dollars and twenty-four. Overall, the um, water administration went from two sixty sixty-nine to three twenty-eight forty-four in twenty twenty-four. Mm -hmm. Water operating, um, part-time help, uh, same thing. You'll see the same increase to 16 an hour from 6,000 to 6,800. Overtime uh, went from $58,285 to $63,000. We got a lot of overtime with um, water and sewer because even every storm, whenever there's a lot of rain, we have someone sitting down there monitoring the pumps. Um, that's, that's a big uh, overtime expense. And as we'll get through it, you'll see a lot of the other increases that um, Mike has to deal with every day. Uh, the 231 heat power light account, 167, 680 last year to 172, 480 this year. Very slight increase there. Um, this is a 6% increase in the 232 account. Uh, New North Jersey District Water Supply and Passaic Valley Water Commission both increased the purchase of their water by 6%. Um, what does that mean? It means we have to increase the purchase <laughs> of our water by at least 6%. Um, unfortunately, this, or fortunately, depending how you look at it, we do not treat our own water. We purchase all of our water from these two suppliers. Overall, this budget went from 926, 474, and 23 to 985 in 2024. Um, much the same as the pool. Rates on the utilities have not been touched since 2017. Um, that's a problem. The utilities need to be self liquidating, they are not. And um, with a 6% increase in water, there will be an increase yeah. coming. Uh, we're actually in the middle of doing a rate study now to uh, to address that. It's a long time coming, right, Mikey? Yeah. yeah. We definitely need it. Yeah. Um, 250 conference and dues, 3285, that stayed the same. Motor vehicle repairs, 4000, that stayed the same. While Mike's up here, I'll keep him up here. We'll discuss some, mm -hmm. some water capital mm -hmm. so he doesn't have to stay the whole time. Another big increase here. Um, 261, 24, 7 to 30,000. Um, again, some of these numbers are subject to minor adjustments going forward. 
but there's a big increase in uh, chemical cost, right? I think that right. pretty much anything that we touch is as everything else in this world. They, you know, the the uh, cost have just gone through the roof. Yeah. You know, parts are like double to triple. So crazy. Uh, 290 account professional services, um, all of this stayed the same with the exception of um, adding CP professional engineers here. Uh, as this council is aware, we've had some issues with the DEP and, and the water that we've fought them on rather successfully, largely with the help of CP engineers. Uh, they never had a line in water. They were always a line in sewer, so now we put a line in water for them. And I know you rely on them every day, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, they were also instrumental with helping us do the EQ tank. Yes. Right? Okay. Water meters, uh, 5000 that stayed the same. 320 $3,075, that stayed the same. Food meal reimbursements, $1,000 stayed the same. Gas and fuel, um, this dropped $1,000. Why did it drop $1,000? Um, we plan on replacing one of the diesel trucks with a gas truck, which means we will need less diesel fuel, uh, which is why you see a uh, slight decrease here. Utility truck that's just for tires or whatnot, uh, $900, 361 Hydrant replacement, uh, that was 14000 last year. It goes to 18000 this year. No, what's it? What's it? A hydrant, thirty five hundred roughly yeah. to, to, to yeah, do a hydrant. Three to four thousand dollars now for just to buy it. Just to buy it. Um, and as we do, as we pave streets, we, we want to, to replace hydrants, so we're not doing it. Um, we do flush hydrants twice a year. Um, this budget went from thirty one thirty thirty one thousand thirty dollars in twenty three to thirty five thousand thirty dollars in twenty twenty four. Big expense here, stand in stone. Every time there's a water main break, we need to bring in stone. Um, Ten thousand five hundred. This went up to twenty. We will likely plow through this account. Oh yeah. Too. Yeah. Um, you know, there's even that cost has went up substantially. One supply six hundred dollars to stay the same. Uh, Three ninety miscellaneous hardware eighteen fifty stayed the same. Um, I'm not going to go through all this. I just did it before with the council, but this is the chargebacks of our statutory expenses and our health insurance. Uh, just note the increase, 402, 868, and 23 to 455, 573 in 2024. Social Security contribution uh, stayed the same. Interesting, what I, I want to point out is our debt service here. Um, so notes in municipal financing have to be paid off within 10 years before they convert to long-term financing. Uh, anything over that converts to a bond. All these were cast in, in notes. And that's why you'll see the next one due is in 2024. That's why we're paying the whole note off before it converts to a bond. So the note from 14733 in the amount left of $145,000 will be paid off in full. We're also going to be making substantial paydowns on the note from 15, and we're going to continue making paydowns up until 2020 and making interest payments on the other notes. Next year, you'll see this list shift up. Um, and if we ever do cast another type of refinancing, we may consider consolidating or um, converting to bonds depending on what the, the market rates are. Um, but the debt service for uh, the water utility, in terms of principal this year, we plan on paying $260,000. In terms of interest, $92,433. Any questions on water? No? Water's tough, right? Yeah, well, it's both <laughs> it depends what day it's it is. It's expensive. <laughs> it is a very That's expensive. That's for sure. I don't. I don't have a question. I just have sort of a, a general comment. Sure. I think as as the costs go up, we're going to get obviously um, questions and concerns from from residents. Is yep. there a way to communicate to them that we're passing on? Oh, yeah. our direct costs. So it's it needs to be done by ordinance, right? It's not like we could just right. Um, so we're in the middle of doing a rate study, mm -hmm. right? Because I want to make it. I don't want to just slap across, you know, to the residents any type of increase without justifying it. Um, so the rate study is very detailed. It's going to take all the other towns. Fairfield just introduced Norris on it. Verona's doing it. Um, it's going to take all the other towns and what their rates are. It's going to take our op operating costs. Mm -hmm. It's going to take our debt service, which is why I just went through that. Yeah. Uh, it's going to take a look at the infrastructure, right? Like, luckily, we paid for the EQ tank out of CARES Act money. But if we didn't have that, we'd have to pay for it out of the revenues from the uh, utility. Um, and with the rate study, when that's done, I'll present to the council before we make an adjustment. On, the rate hasn't been touched in 2017, which is absurd because nothing is the same price that it was in 2017. Right. Um, but what I will say is 
we will, you know, obviously present it to the council for the review and consideration, but I will also have, you know, comparisons with other towns. Um, but unlike other towns, like we're paying for the meter replacement out of, out of our pilot surplus, right? Mm -hmm. So that's other towns, right? I mean, uh, do you right. want to talk to that so, a little bit? Some towns are doing programs where you have to buy your meter, basically. So right. the cost would get, you know, put over onto the homeowner. So so we're trying not to do that. Um, you know, our ordinance states that anything over a one-inch meter would be bought typically, and it's a business, you know, a commercial business. So they would have to buy their own meter. But for, you know, our, our residents in town, um, you know, we're trying not to put that cost over. And a water meter now is over $300. Yeah. And keep in mind, we do offer two meters for uh, irrigation purposes. <coughs> yep. so now Plus other towns make you pay for the installation. Right. right. <coughs> so, you know, realistically, like a nominal increase, even if it's not nominal, but the, the utility needs to self-sustain. If the utility does not self-sustain itself, that results in a deferred charge. Our deferred charge results in being raised by taxation by law. So one way or another, you're if there, if these are in a deficit, you're either paying for it by taxes or you're paying for it with a higher rate uh, of utility. Yep. Thank you. All right. Yep. On to sewer. Um, water and sewer, uh, 73,423, 77,624. Am I in water yet? Oh, yeah, I yeah. am. Okay. Postage, um, this all stayed the same here. Sewer bill is 500. That actually increased $100 to, to, to 600. Uh, 240 account, $1,110 to $1,250. Continuing seminars, $170 to $200. Uh, same loss off contract here. This is the computer support, 12,000 broken out to the utility. Um, we had prior IT service, if you want to even call it that. And now, uh, you know, we have a, a real. IT provider that's able to help us uh, navigate the new software and technology we're implementing. Professional services here, again, you see the admins software we're converting to, um, the consulting engineer contract as well as the HFA contract. That's why this budget went from $2,723 to $106,745.24. But the difference between here was the salaries that have been taken out from the salary portion. I didn't go through those, but this, this increase is offset by the removal of certain salaries. Uh, mainly the, the uh, municipal engineer. 350 account, 1800 stayed the same. Audit, slight increase, 6611 to 8480. Uh, for a grant total in the SOAR administration, $389,822 to an increase of $402,376. SOAR maintenance, uh, Pump stations, 3,000 stayed the same. TV line inspection, 16,000 stayed the same. Grit removal, 20,000 stayed the same. Dies for leak, $100. Uh, clothing and uniform, 1720, that stayed the same. Pipe repair materials, six, 1962, that increased to 2,100. 370 material and supplies, 800 stayed the same. Uh, 382, fire and other equipment, 986, I don't know why it was that last year, went to $1,000 this year. Um, supplies, janitorial supplies, $1,000, 390 general hardware, cutting tool, um, pump and hose, 1605 stayed the same. Overall, the sewer maintenance budget went from $212,626 to $223,414. Now we're going to talk Mike's bread and butter. Sewer operating, <coughs> this is the day-to-day. -day. Right, this is our, this is what keeps us going. Yeah. Um. Overtime increased from 21,935 to 23,000. Again, these are the guys that stay on during the storms. Um, if there's a, some type of backup or whatever, they, they come in. Um, 230 account, 8,400. That increased slightly to 8,700. 231 account, um, you're going to see an increase in the treatment plant of $5,000. This went, uh, overall count went from 165,523 to 172,724. Treatment plant, 2,500 stayed the same. It's 212, or 232 account, sorry. 250 conference and dues, 4,700. This is the licenses for the CDL. Mike is also a um, S1. Uh, S3, C2, W2. Mike's got a lot of licenses, and uh, that's what allows us to do what we do. Um, so a lot of Mike's continuing education fees are, are paid out of this account here. 260 um Truck maintenance, 3500 There's a $500 increase in that account. 
261 generator maintenance, um, 6,500, that increased $500. RBC maintenance program, 5,000, that's a $500 increase, and there's a $1,000 increase in UV maintenance. When we get to capital, we'll talk a little bit more about this. Uh, fees for professional services, same CP engineers, you see a $20,000 line here, it stayed the same. There's actually a $300 decrease in this 290 account from $80,702 to $80,402. Uh-oh. Is that pager test? That's what it is, right? <laughs> uh, sludge removal. Uh, slated for this Monday's council meeting um, is a two-year contract uh, to SpectraServe. They are the only responsive bidder for the council's consideration to remove sludge. This amount went up from 255000 to 275000 why did it go up so much? We are removing far more sludge than any other municipality in the nearby area because we don't have the capabilities to further refine the sludge to remove it so that they can come three times a week instead of twice a day. Um, that's a capital discussion, right, that we could have in a little bit, but that's some of the issues that we see with the uh, sludge removal contract. Labs and chemicals, this is a big one. Talk about the GPAC real quick, Mike. Uh, so chemicals, so uh, over the summer months, we have a phosphorus limit, and that's what uh, that phosphorus is in the water that you basically discharge into the river where you get algae blooms. So, um, you know, so by feeding this chemical, uh, it aids in better settling, cleaner water that leaves the plant, but that also increases our sludge. So, um, you know, so these are kind of why chemicals high because of the new limit, and now sludge also had to go up because we're getting better cleaner water that leaves. So, so you're getting, you see an increase here, 65000 to 92000 overall 66000 to 93000 in that account. Um, 320 count, uniform safety, $3,660, uh, $3, uh, $10 increase, $3,670. Fuel and lubricants, uh, $400 increase here, very nominal. Vehicle repairs, 1500 that stayed the same. 361, I'm not going through all that, $30,130 in 2023, $32,750 in 2024. Um, flood emergencies, $2,000 line just built in there. Uh, part of the reason for that, too, is we could always do a, a budget transfer within the utilities in the event that this runs short, but we have the line there just in case we need to ever classify in there. 381, electrical repairs, 2800 stayed the same. 384, janitorial supplies, uh, 600 that stayed the same. Miscellaneous tools and hardware, 800 stayed the same. Uh, the council is aware of the group chargebacks here. I went through them before. Notice the increase, $597,029.23 to $676,778.24. These numbers are subject to change. They may increase in the event that I have to remove them from current to fall within our cap calculation. Overall, the um, SOAR operating, right, the SOAR operating here, yeah, went from one million five hundred eighty-three thousand four hundred five dollars in twenty twenty-three to one million seven hundred forty-one thousand one hundred eighty-eight dollars in twenty twenty-four. With respect to our debt schedule here, the store utility is in slightly better shape. We don't have um, only because the store rates are a little bit stronger. Um, Twenty-eight thousand. You see, we're actually paying off quite a bit of debt here uh, in advance. The fourteen seven forty-four is going to come off completely. Uh, the rest of the ordinances are going to be uh, chipped away at, but you will see that we are paying $236,000 um, in principle here. But what kills me is because these were cast at notes at a high interest rate, we're paying $170,137 in interest. Um, but again, that's what the rate study is for. Um, briefly, Mike, while you're up here, um, we'll talk about the uh, just for water capital and sewer capital. We are planning on replacing a service truck, one service truck, one utility truck. Yes. And the big thing that absolutely needs to be done is the water main on Briar Hill. Yes, we're looking at that now. Yeah. Um, there is more linear feet of repair on that water main than the actual original main itself. So that's um, Briar Hill? Why did I think that was Lakewood? Uh, Lakewood, Lake, Lakewood's Lakewood another was, uh, issue? <laughs> that's fixed now. Lakewood's oh, it is? Good, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Um, but to the point where we're afraid that we can't even pave over the street because the vibration from the roller will um, ruin that. So that's what we can anticipate for water capital for this year. Okay. All right? Yep. Anything for Mike? No, thank you, Mike, for all, all right. you do. We appreciate thank it. You, you do a problem. great job. Right, I'm right, gonna, thank you. I'm going to rip through these real quick. Um, <clears throat> Let me 
at these real quick. Public utilities. Um, this is what pays. Are we still over? This is literally what keeps the lights on in Town Hall and all our other buildings. Um, you will you will see a two hundred twenty one thousand dollar line in twenty three that goes to two twenty four one hundred and twenty four. Heat power light two thirty one account. Slight increases here one seventy four four seventy five to one seventy six twenty five. Water and sewer, this is um, for different buildings, Lions Den, Morgan's Farm, Municipal Building, uh, Fire Departments, and Community Park Sprinklers, $8,650 in 23 to $9,700 in 24. Fuel and lubricants, this is um, part of the vehicle maintenance, but it's really gas that's charged to the fire department here. Just a breakout, $16,500, um, but that's between gas and diesel. Police department fuel for uh, gasoline fifty six thousand dollars. There's an increase there from fifty six six to fifty seven six a thousand dollars. Civil defense phone lines uh, fifty eight hundred. That stayed the same. Uh, fuel and lubricants. This is for um, DPW uh, gas and diesel forty seven thousand dollars in twenty three to fifty thousand two hundred dollars in twenty twenty four. Uh, the senior bus, 2000 in uh, gas, that stayed the same. Street lighting. Um, I did that one. Or vehicle maintenance, all right. This is where we pay for repairs to DPW vehicles, fire department vehicles, and police vehicles. Um, this is separate and a part of the budgets for each department. Um, it's its own line within the municipal budget. Uh, fire department vehicle maintenance, uh, 24700 That increased to 29200 uh, As the chief will explain, when he comes up here, we had a very big, big expense with, was it 7-2 we had? And 7-2 we had the big repair on? Yes. Yeah, we just incurred a big expense on that. So that's why you see a slight increase there. Police department, um, 39000 The um, repairs for police vehicles stayed the same. Um, Vehicle parts and accessories, DPW, 40000 to 42500 No, There's no dollar amount for the recreation vehicle because that vehicle is replaced this year. Overall vehicle maintenance went from 107223 to 113224 Low SAP stayed the same at 72000 On insurance also stayed the same at 25000 With that, I will call up our fire department. Keith, how are yeah, you? Hello. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. All right. What's up, Chief? How are you, Joe? Good. How are you? Oh, my God. Uh, so the fire department will explain. We have a lot of uh, a lot of good things going on here. Fire department budget overall is, is uh, we say it every year, the, the, probably one of the best ones in town. We get a fantastic service um, for less than the salary of two paid firemen. And it's really we're very grateful for yeah. that and for the service that the, the fire department gives to the township. Uh, 220 account, 2500 that's travel, that stayed the same. Fire prevention, um, 1600 that stayed the same. Uh, conference dues, 250 account, 1100 that stayed the same. The Wildwood Convention, um, 700 that stayed the same there. Training in school, um, there's a slight decrease here from 19.3 to 16.8. That's... Um, different schools and whatnot, Firefighter 2, Firefighter 1, Thermal Imaging. Like, when's the last time you trained on a Thermal Imaging camera? <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> so you'll see a slight decrease there. Uh, maintenance of other equipment, there is an increase there from 15.7 to 16,000. Uh, 14 Cedar Street, um, now with North End being out of commission, 14 Cedar Street's being used a lot more. Um, you know, I do hope in time that we can kind of revigorate that building. There's $3,000 in here uh, just to make relatively minor repairs, but I was speaking with the chiefs last week. Um, at some point, there may be some type of collaboration where if the township provides the materials, the fire department could provide the labor to make that a little bit more accommodating that Cedar Street building. Uh, it's something we'd certainly be willing to uh, to work together on. Um, 
This is the clothing allowance and stipends, $98,046 last year, $98,000 this year, relatively the same. Um, 1850 for recruitment. The department's been doing a really good job uh, recruiting new members. How many members did you say last week that you were talking In the to? last year, we've probably accepted probably 8 to 10 new members yeah. of applications that have been going That's in. Good. So We have three in fire school right now. Yes. Which is okay. huge, and we seek to... Um, you know, anything we can do to support that, we, we will. We appreciate but, that. So that's eighteen fifty there. Um, Cascade Phil, 3900 3, last year, 4000 this year. Clothing and uniforms, uh, this is turnout gear for the new members and whatnot, $27,950. Stayed the same. Um, Fire Engine Engineer Magazine, $250 stayed the same. Uh, but again, a lot of these accounts are still, so if we have to transfer out of or, or into uh, come November, December, we have the statutory authority to do that. Stationary office supplies, 250 stayed the same. Tires for apparatus, $1,400. Um, batteries, 900 stayed the same. Air tank refill, 8900 That went to $10,000. Um, digital camera supplies went from 300 to 150 Hand tools, 400 stayed the same. Small engine repair and testing, there's an increase here from thirteen seven to $15,000. Um, the, the trucks have a lot of tools on them. I just saw there's a new donation, right, yes. for a, uh, <clears throat> a, a battery. A battery Milwaukee operated. Uh, circular saw. Yeah. saw. Um, and as the council's where the Jaws of Life tools are, what, year or two? They're about uh, about a year and a half old Right. So there's a lot of maintenance on these. Every year to be yes. Yep. Um, brush truck has a lot of saws, and brush truck was out like two or three times last year. Yeah. Or, so um, it's a lot of the, the smaller, uh, you know, uh, chainsaws, that type of stuff that, that is on, in the apparatus itself that often needs repair or, you know, just servicing, keep it in function. Um, so that's why there's a slight increase here. Overall, fire department budget last year was 201746 This year it's going to $201,850. Um, while the Chiefs are here, I do want to discuss their capital um, and just largely what's going on in terms of the fire department capital overall. Uh, as the council is aware, we are working diligently on starting a North End Firehouse, which I do hope happens soon. Um, last year, we did a lot in terms of center company here. We There's a new gym installed. Uh, new storage area. Uh, this year, capital, I hope to improve the exterior of the South End Firehouse a little bit with some landscaping and some uh, other enhancements. Uh, and the big, Chief, you want to tell us what the big one's going to be in about two years? Uh, so we are currently started a committee to uh, replace our ladder truck. Um, you know, the township only has one ladder truck. We have three engines, one ladder truck. Um, so the truck is uh, about 20 years old now. Um, the plan is uh, usually every 20 years we replace a ladder truck. So we, uh, we've had a couple meetings. We've met a couple with a couple vendors already. And uh, we're going to meet with a couple more vendors. Uh, we'll make a decision on that. Um, but th that'll be a big purchase. Uh, we are limited by the space that we have downstairs. Um, the ladder truck just fits. Barely. So <laughs> 39, feet, <laughs> about 39 feet, 8 inches. We can't go uh, an inch above that. So... Um, we're in the process of looking at replacing that ladder truck, so Great. it's going well. Yeah, so that's that's going to be a big capital item within you know a few years yeah. for the council to consider. Uh, also, um, this year, um, radio reprogramming is a big one. Yes, um, I met with the chiefs last week. I know it's something we're going to uh, put into capital. Um, the radios they need a key, I believe. Like I, you, you can explain it better than me, but it's something we're looking to see if we can do in house. Whether we buy the key and then we can have uh, the firemen program it, um, or if we have to outsource it, that's an option there. Um, and there's a electric vehicle nozzle, nozzle. so yeah. just for the so council's we'll, identification. Experience. So what, what we've been seeing a lot more of are these electrical vehicles on the road, and they're not, you can't fight a fire on them like you normally would a regular gas engine. Um, the batteries heat up, and they have what's called the thermal runaway, and it takes a lot of water to, it doesn't extinguish the fire, but just to keep it cool. So they... Um, they started making these new nozzles where we slide this nozzle underneath the car that's actually on fire and the water comes up from underneath and it's just enough to kind of cool down and keep the batteries at a cool reasonable temperature so we can continue to extinguish it, uh, the rest of the fire in the car so so that's in for this year's capital um anything else chief you want to add for I mean, we've got a lot of stuff going on i know no. i emailed you guys before with some grant opportunities yes um you know the, the fire department does a great job with uh We've got a lot of cool stuff going on. We've got yes, a lot we've of got cool a lot projects. of things going on, and uh, it's an exciting time. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's going to be an exciting year, hopefully, with North End. Uh, we're, mo- we're making progress. <laughs> we're making, I can't say it. I can't say it now on the record publicly, but we are but making good progress. It'll it'll it'll, it'll be Excellent. good, and it's true. That. I mean, like you said before, two two what two paid yeah. firemen, right? Yeah. Would be the whole like yeah. it. it it yeah, saves this town, tr- yeah, yeah, tremendous <laughs> amount of money. So thank you for doing that and it's for volunteering and all you guys we do. Love it. Really appreciate it. We've got a good, good group. Uh, yes, we do. Very thank lovely. you for all your support from. Of course, all, all over always. The years. You know that. Anything else? No, I'm, I'm hey, good. Chiefs, job. anything else you want to add? That's your chance. No, I think, <laughs> think Chris covered it. Okay. Thank you, guys. Just, uh, actually, just on the electric vehicles, we're seeing a lot more in town. All the new uh, developments, I think, are required to uh, actually install electric vehicle chargers. Charging stations. Uh, yes. So and they're usually in some of the worst places possible, like underground in the back corner of the garage. Uh, so yeah. anything we can have that kind of gives us the edge up on that. Also, Chief, explain the the most recent capital acquisition that you were. Uh, uh, so we, we we did uh, buy a new command vehicle. Um, got the Tahoe. A, <laughs> it's a 2023 Tahoe. Um, it's uh, very nice. <laughs> Fine. It's a very nice car. Nice. It's a long, long time coming. It was in Capital like <laughs> I was going to say, I've heard about this Tahoe. Yeah. It's finally on the road. No one thought it was real until no. it showed up. <laughs> it is on the road. For a while. I don't think we paid for it yet, so we'll just... <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> don't say that. No, no. We, we, we did pay for it, but uh, glad to sh- I'm glad to see it back out now. All three Chiefs have a vehicle now, which is, is good, and, and we are... We got a lot of good stuff happening, and, and you know we certainly appreciate what you guys do. Great. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Thank you all. Thank Thanks you. for coming. Thank you. Have a good night. You do the same. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Take care, Joe. Take care, everyone. Thanks, you too. All right. Before I call John up, uh, OEM. I'm going to just talk OEM before I pull it up here. Um, you're going to see a slight increase in here from. 12,000 last year to 21,000 this year. I'm sorry, 23, 21,000 this year because um, the police department needs new rifles and I don't want to artificially inflate the police operating budget, so we're going to put it through there. Um, again, barring any drastic cap calculations. All right. What's up, Chief? How are we doing? Good. Hi, Chief. Good evening, Cass. How are you? Everybody there? Hello. Good. How are you? Um, so police budget, it, there's going to be some, some big differences this year because uh, when it was filed with the state last year, whoever filed it left out the chief's salary last year. He got paid. <laughs> he got paid still, <laughs> but it didn't reflect in our fast budget system when the former uh, oh CFO dear. entered it. So we had a little, a little glitch. A little glitch, but we're going to oh. try to work beyond it. Um, school crossing guards, uh, as the council is aware, we are actively seeking new crossing guards. Um, there's an increase here from 138000 one hundred twenty-seven dollars to one hundred forty-three thousand seven hundred six dollars, um, and we actually took that from the summer recreation program because we don't have any crossing guards then, so we moved that to the actual salaries for the crossing guards. Um, you'll see a slight decrease there: one forty-four seventy-eight to one forty-three seven oh six. Police overtime did a very good job this year, keeping it under the hundred and three thousand. Um, with the salary increases of our officers, there's a slight increase to one hundred twelve thousand. Uh, in the overtime, and I fully expect the chief to keep it beneath the one hundred twelve thousand dollars this year as well. We will. Um, payment for holiday, you're going to see that as a zero. The, the reason you see that as zero is because I moved that to the actual salaries of the police officers. I will show you an example of that, where it's actually broken out by officer now. It's a little easier for us to calculate. So take Officer Wester for example. Um, his holiday pay is now reflected in the actual line of his pay, as opposed to everyone's holiday pay being lumped up into one holiday pay amount. This is easier when we have to go out and actually make the payments, make step adjustments. It's already in front of us. And we don't have to go back and do these weird retro calculations. Um, that's why you see that number is zero there. Overall, the police salary budget went from uh, 5126670 which includes all the part-time help, the holiday pay, longevity pay, crossing guard pay, to $5,302,379. 220 accounts. The, the, the police department said, they said to John frequently, they did a really, really good job this year keeping the operating budget to oh, yeah. bare bones. Yeah, um, it is bare bones. There's The only time we had to push it was when our, our costs went up as contracts, service fees, uh, our storage fees. We run body cameras. We're required to maintain all that. And now we're in the process of shifting to the cloud. 
So those are the only increases and some of our cellular data because we've implemented ALPRs in right. town. Right. Everywhere else, we've control. pretty much yeah. flattened the line. Uh, Which, and I'll explain the amazing, you know, abilities of, of the chief in the department and, and Patrolman McElroy, who uh, work very hard all you know, together to uh, keep this the way it is. Um, a lot of these accounts, uh, they're, they're so nominal increases. 261 went from 95,000 to 96,000. One I really want to point out is the vehicle line. Okay. So in vehicles, you see $113,766 in 2023, and that was for the purchase of three new police vehicles. Um, this year, you see $148,322. Obviously, there was an increase in the cost per vehicle. Correct. And we're also supplementing some insurance money to purchase a fourth vehicle um, for this year's fleet with, with that. So the amazing, remember that number, 148322 because when I go to the grand total for other expenses, 348274 back out the vehicles okay and you're left with $200,000 that the police department operates on 365 days a year 24/7 right $200,000 less the vehicles which is crazy yeah um, so we really we do owe a great you know amount of thanks to the the department um, for operating that way um, the chief has seen it you know, a lot of times we Try to do a lot of things in-house if we can. Uh, well, we do. With uh, Officer McElroy, he's incredible at just making things work and saving us money. And he's he's done that for his entire career. So yeah. Yeah. you owe it actually to him. Yeah, $5,500 for tires, right? Stayed the same. Um, you know, and these cars, how often do these cars run? How often are the cars turned off? Maybe if we're short of squad, a car will sit in the back. Other than that, the cars run 24-7. Yeah. They, yeah. they are nonstop. Yeah. Um, so overall, the police budget this year, um, five thousand. Uh, I'm sorry, five thousand. Can you imagine what five thousand? <laughs> five million four hundred forty uh, thousand five hundred eighty-two dollars in twenty-three to five million six hundred fifty thousand six hundred fifty-three dollars in twenty twenty-four. Um, this is inclusive with correct salaries, correct um, operating expenses, and uh, some other new. Um, expenses, like the chief said, towards the maintenance of the uh, data and, and whatnot. Um, the council's where chief spoke last week about the capital projects, um, you know, including you know, the desk renovation, um, body armor, body armor uh, upfitting some new lighting for the vehicles, the uh, drone. Um, I know I'm missing a few here. Uh, that's what we were talking about upfitting uh, for uh, vehicle retention. Yeah, vehicle retention. Um, so, you know, the council is aware of everything that the, the, the police do. Um, they respond first for fire, medical, police. You know, th their job description is beyond what right. the police it's, officer it's would be. Um, do you guys have any questions of the chief now or anything um, in terms of the police budget? You, we sat for a long time last week to discuss capital, so I know that's... So we'll wait to see what our... Wait and see where the cap's cap at. I, I may do... I may do some of their capital improvement fund, which is what I discussed with the chief, you know, separately. Um, and then, like I said, yeah, but even since the last time we met, there was an instance where we could have, or two instances we could have used the drone, right? Oh, yeah. We had the, the burglary to the residence uh, a week or so ago. Yep. We had guys that we waited for an hour for a dog. We could have accomplished that in three minutes with a drone. We could have cleared the area. Yeah. Uh, we had a group of kids get out of an Uber, uh, all the black ski masks. We had to divert everybody to the south end of town trying to find them they were up near the td bank we could have cleared the area in you know 10 minutes with a drone yeah and then got back to where we needed to be because it's hard to search the entire town at once but if they're on foot we could have really yeah. done a great job from the sky right yeah i mean you know i just hope we can do yeah what we're gonna we're what gonna they what they were i mean considering like you you know that we we do save in so many places yeah you know, hopefully we, we get the cap. We can we can accommodate and, and yeah, like you know so get if, all if of these things. Our cap is, is if their cap permits it, we're going to do it. Yeah, it's not even a question. Yeah, I hope so. Joe and I are <coughs> talking. We're working together to try to see where we can tighten things up to, to make everything yeah. work. Yeah, ideally, we, I, I want to get the most things accomplished, right? And, and and you know, a lot of it when you can see and practice the benefit of having a drone or the benefit of having these new tools. You know, it's nice to to able to do that and say that we you know, we're able to help our officers who like I said they're out there 
rain, snow, sleet, or hail, they're out there. Yes, they are. You heard yesterday from from um, Judge Brindisi, you know, they they keep him very busy, um, oh, yeah. and and they they follow up. They do very yeah. thorough investigations and and uh, great community uh, relations. Right, that's something that you oh, stress. Yeah. Um, you guys are very involved, whether it's with the school, students. We've they, they, they do the school the checks every day, right? Yeah. 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 National night out. National night everything. Out. Which we're hosting this year, right? We are. Yeah, we'll have it back we're this year. It but this year. it's it's a lot. You know, you guys do a lot. We're very lucky. We have a great police department. It, it's a great group of guys. You know, it's and great. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anything for the chief? No, just thank no. you thank for you. all you thank do. You. Appreciate thank it. Thank you for all your support. Of too. course. It's Absolutely. All right. I'm going to just go through our general capital now. Uh, you're good, Chief, good. if you want to go. All right. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thank you, Chief. Have Thank a good you. night. Good night. Good night. Okay. Maybe I didn't put it in here. Oh, here. This will be quick. Um, so just in terms of general capital this year, what the township's expecting, which is inclusive of all of the um, requests from the chief right now, what I would like to see, and I discussed with uh, Mike Grosso, like I said before, service body replacement and uh, the, the water main that's out of the utility, but in terms of general capital, um, council chambers renovation, uh, one or two more offices inside town hall renovation, um, DPW has a few items that they need, um, a new snow pusher, and which is goes on the front of a loader. It's about 12 feet long, and it helps stack snow. Uh, a new cat mini, uh, which is the little um, excavation uh, caterpillar that we use for water breaks, sore breaks. We would actually trade our old one in and get some money back to purchase a new one. Um, a new mason dump for DPW, which we purchased one new last year by reappropriating some uh, capital money. I don't have the list in front of me. I'm sure there's some other things on there, but the capital budget's separate from the general one that we're discussing now. Yeah. Any questions on on anticipated capital or any of the uh, budgets tonight? No, I think you did a great job. Thanks. Thank you very yeah. much. Very thorough. So yeah. I'm hoping it's a lot of work. Um, these numbers are subject to change. Obviously, I'm hoping that once we get the uh, revenues, literally before we started here, I received our ADS. I'm going to go back to my office right now and start looking through that. Um, once we get the revenue side downstairs, we'll be able to marry uh, the budget side with our cap calculation, strike a tax rate, and then hopefully have a budget adopted and reviewed uh, by May. Yep. Great. All right. Yeah, this is great. You did a great job. Thank you. Year two, you did it. Year two. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I'm back for year three. <laughs> No, thank, thank you. you all. You need do, a motion, Mayor. Do I, I was just going to ask for one. Do I have a, a motion to adjourn? So Second. move. Second. Roll call, please. Councilman Zazali? Yes. 